my lovely wife, Mrs. Teresa Tuna Kumba, will see to the fulfillment of my last wish. To my children, Williams, Rod, and Sharon, I want you all to live in peace and harmony. Now, my will testament. To my first son, William, you are to receive two shares of my family company located at GRL. To my beloved daughter, Sharon, you are to receive my educational center located at the kilometer four from Tacos Expressway. To my son, Roy, Due to some reasons, you will not receive any property from me. I want peace to reign among you all. Always remember that I love you all. Barista Ken, what exactly did you take before coming here? Because I'm very sure right now that you're under the influence of something. Exactly. I'm a young man. I'm Jimmy. I don't understand. How will you understand? You will never understand because you are confused as the meaning of the word confused. How will you be here telling me to be my father's lawyer and you expect me to believe that my late father did not will any of his properties to me? How do you explain that? Listen, if I were you, I would go back to that stupid chambers of yours and get the original copy of my late father's last real testament. Roy, please bring down your voice. Do not tell me to bring down my voice. I am angry and you are telling me to bring down my voice. How does it work? A do not tune Abamba. I think I don't know that you're the brain behind all this. You could knife with this fake barrister to turn his back against me so that he can will all our father's shares to you. If I were you, I would go and do what you did with this man because I will not let that happen. I will never let that happen. Mark my words. Rose Royce, my man. Roy, you are not looking bright to me. What is it? Frank, I am not happy. Of course you are not happy. From your content house out there, you are not happy. What is it? Could you believe that my late father did not will any of his properties to me? Like he willed everything to my elder brother Williams. It's a lie. Like everything? It's a lie. How possible is it that your father could will everything to your brother Williams? Why would he do that? That is exactly what I have been thinking since yesterday till now. Why would my father take such drastic decisions without considering my feelings? Am I not his son? Wait, wait. Roy. Are you very, very sure? Like, are you sure that you were not having any issues with your father when he was still alive? Not at all. I mean, I this man I on for once. I never had any issues with him. Why would he do such a thing without considering how I would feel? But I'm having this feeling that my elder brother, Williams, is the mastermind of this whole thing. I he could knife that fake barrister to execute this devilish art. You think I won't find out? If you are finding out now, you found out lately. Because I have always known from onset that your brother Williams has never liked you. He has uh, not. Huh. Like, you I know. Very sure. Yes. I know about that. I just want to be sure before I would take my actions. Huh. I know he doesn't like me. Everybody knows about it. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. I have my plans drafted out. Just wasn't for time no, to strike. We have to be very careful. We don't take decisions like that. We have to be sure before taking decisions. Brothers, right? we are five minutes late to pass out. Uh, that right, man's get out of there. You know let's how let's go. Go. it is to be.
Um, I actually called for this meeting because I have questions that I need answers to. So over to you, Brother Williams. I want to ask, what adjustments do you have to make considering what the barrister said the other day? Is this why you called for this meeting? Yes, a good one at that. I believe it's a good reason for me to call for a meeting. Roy, I don't think I can make adjustments in anything there. Because everything Barista King said in our late father's will stands. And I cannot go against it. Meaning what? Why? That is the question. Why? Why are you giving me reasons to believe that you have always wanted things to be like this? Why? Roy, I don't bloody care. I don't bloody care what you think about. Whatever you want to think about, that's not my business. But the truth is, I cannot go against our late father's will. Okay? Excuse me. Mom, you have not said anything concerning this issue. Like you have not said a single word since this issue started. But there's no problem. You see the smoke that is gradually coming up? When the fire will start flaming, I will also want you to sit back and fold your arms and pretend like nothing is happening. No problem! Relax! There's no problem! Mommy, you need to do something about this seriously. This is getting out of hand. Mommy, you can't expect Rod to be happy knowing that he inherited nothing from that property. It's never done. Sharon, what do you want me to do? No, what do you want me to do? I tried speaking to Williams last night, but he wouldn't give me a listening ear. However, I tried to make things clear to him. See, he doesn't want to listen. It's okay. Since both of them doesn't want to listen to me, let me be the one listening to them. Period. Who's there? It's me, Sharon. Come in. The door is open. It was good. It oh. was like I slept very late. But what is it? I'm good. It's How are you? I'm um, fine. This one you came to my room this early morning. <laughs> what is it about? Uh, nothing much. Just that I came to ask for a little favor. Of course, I know you asked for a little <laughs> favor. So what is it? Bro uh, Williams is about wrong. What? Uh, what's wrong with him? Nothing actually, he's fine. Okay. But I, you know, raw is our flesh and blood, right? Yeah, sure. And uh, I think we should accord him as such. Okay. You don't need to turn your back on him. Not now that dad is no more. Brother Williams, I know you inherited three shares from dad. At least you can just give him one to manage. Trust me, he will appreciate it. Mm. Mm. Sharon. Brother. It's okay. I I will do something about it. But you know, Roy, 
does not have any experience in managing the affairs of a company. I will definitely do something about it, but that should be when he's done with his education. Okay? Okay. That's 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 a good news. That's alright. And I'm sure he will be happy to hear this. No problem. Okay? Alright. Stop budging yourself. I got it covered. Alright? For the sake of the family. It's okay. Alright, I'll have to go dress up for work. I'm already refreshed. It's okay. No work. I'm just looking up now, just like I told you. Oh, I, I see. Okay, I'll see you when I'm back. Alright. You have a nice day. Yeah. Yeah. Mom! Mom, I was about going out to one of the cars. Brother, we left order the dead man not to let me out. It's too big for me to go out with. And besides, when did you start going to school for the car? Wait! Seriously, I wasn't expecting you. Yes, because I know you would definitely be on his side. It's obvious. It's always all about me. Nobody likes me. No problem. I know exactly what to do. Coming out with the car, my brother ordered the gate man not to let me out. Ah, hello. Ah. Again, again, again. Your brother Williams again, all the way. Now look at it. Ah, huh? he has ruined all our plans. Ah, huh? because we told those guys to wait for us that, that we are coming to pick them with a big car, a Range Rover. If you have forgotten, ah, huh? now look at this. You, me, Santiago, the girls. Definitely one car will not be enough for us. What are we going to do? Huh? Look at you, your brother is ruining all your reputations and you are silent. Williams has beaten more than he can chew. I think it's high time I show him the stuff I have made of. So tell me, how is work? Work is fine, my dear. With the help of the principal and the staff, I think it's a, a bit easier, you know. No difficulties at all. Baby girl, you're very lucky. <laughs> Being in charge of one of the biggest educational centers in this town is a big one for you. Your dad must really love you to make such a tremendous decision. You're right. I know he loves me. And I appreciate that. But there is one decision my dad made which I'm not happy with. Which is? My dad willed everything to Williams and I, without willing anything to Roy, my brother. Why? Besides, he has companies and factories. Why would he decide not to will any to Roy? I don't know. I can't just tell. And this is causing a huge problem in our home. But was your father not in good terms with Roy? No, not at all. My dad loves Roy so much. In fact, he gives him money every month and for his upkeep. So I'm surprised about his decision. So what could be the issue? 
baby girl, I don't know. Who of your brother Williams? What is he saying about the whole thing? My dear, brother Williams is a hard nut to crack. I spoke to him about this and he accepted to make adjustments. But I don't know if he'll do anything about it. I just pray he do. This is serious. Very serious. Very, very. No, enough of me. Tell me about you. How is your boyfriend? Uh, just like I told you. Don't worry, I'm going to definitely do what I told you, okay? Anyway, um, who is even going to host me in Papa God? Ah, that's my guy, man. Don't worry, I'm definitely going to come. Um, please let me call you back, okay? Okay. Bro, I was in the company today and you ordered the security man in charge not to let me in. Why on earth will you give such stupid orders? I saw your reaction from the CCTV camera. Of course, I know you're up to something. Hmm? But now let me warn you, Roy, let this be the first and the last time you go to that company. If you ever get to that company again without my consent, I will get you arrested. It's not obvious to me that you intentionally want to deprive me of all our father's properties. I think it will be well with you. Roy Williams, a man dragging on me. Williams, boy, stop that nonsense. Stop this madness this minute. Roy, what has come over you? What is wrong with you? Do you realize you're talking to your other brother? In such a disrespectful manner? Oh, spare me those introductions, mom. For I know the man I am up against. I've been quiet for too long thinking that he will come back to his senses and see reasons why he needs to retrace his steps. But it's obvious you don't want peace. I will give you a problem. Mark my words. Roy! What is this nonsense? What is it, Williams? Mom. Talk to your son. Talk to your son. If he try anything stupid with me, I will set him up late. You will do no such thing! Mom, talk to your son! You stop that nonsense! Why are you losing high words on each other? What is going on with you? Ready. Maybe you can just eat before going. Yeah, I know I actually wasn't expecting more because I know this is the exact thing you will say. Food. That is the only thing you people want to be giving me in this house without me begging or asking for it. Why? Tell brother Williams to give me what he took from me. Let him go and do what he did with that barrister so that I can get what right through belongs to me. Roy, Roy, can you just calm down? What is your problem? You're still schooling. Okay, fine. I spoke to brother Williams about this. And he agreed to give you one of the factories only if you're done with school. Yes. Why? Why must it be when I'm done with school if he doesn't have a children motive? Why must it be like that? If he's very sure that he's going to give me one of the shares, let him hand over the document to me so that once I'm done with school, I will pick up my position. Roy, the only thing you need now is patience. That is the problem. But patience is what I don't have. It's obvious. Can't you see it? Because patient dogs doesn't see bones to eat again. Yes, it's obvious. I don't have patience. You people should do something about it. Don't talk to me about this again for the last time, please. Roy. 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 She told me that she's been calling you, but you have not been picking up your calls. Why? Frank, why are you sounding like this? Why are you talking like you don't know the reason why she's calling? It's obvious she needs money. That is the reason why she's calling me. You should know that. See, the truth is that nobody is giving me money anymore. I don't have money. Forget Big Bull, I don't suffer. Nobody is giving me money. So please, anything that has to do with money right now, nobody should involve me in this because I don't have a dime with me. 
until I'm done solving the issue on my head. I have so many things to tackle. Please. Regarding the issue you're having with your brother, any development yet? Not at all. Not yet. Apart from the fact that my sister told me that uh, that he said that he would give me one of the shares to run the affairs of it, but that would be when I'm done with school. Could you imagine such nonsense? Boy, that is nonsense. You hear me? That is arrant nonsense. Listen, you have two years, okay? Like two calendar years to be in this university. Hey, that's a hell into your time. Roy, I am beginning to think that, that your brother is up to something. And I want you to act fast. You hear me? A stitch in time saves now, Roy. Come on. What with our motor? No, I don't like right now. It's too cold for me. Oh, so, no, I have that. Oh, make I. How about my dad? How about my dad? Who can like him for this gate? Not with this party like I they use like him for this gate. What? what noise is I say? My friend, open the gate. Let me leave here. My dad will not be in this. Look, let's see why. See why. Love it. Love, love it. The party like I the person don't go change up for my party like. I know they like this nonsense. What nonsense are you saying? Are you trying to tell me that you don't know who locked this gate with a, a different padlock? My dad, it's written, my God. Never me lock. I see my key. I know be, I don't know who can lock him for this gate, Umana. This is how you just stay here one day and someone will come here and bundle all of us. And you won't even know. Who can possibly do this? Huh? I'll be right back. I want me, I don't understand, I don't understand this kind of nonsense. But I know it. Oh, person, I can lock him for gate. Person, you can change him for the key. My person, don't try him for this. I'm, I, everybody I go there inside, nothing goes sit down with what? Uh, uh, can you please answer me? I have an appointment to catch up with. I'm running late. Roy? Can you say something? I'm running late for work. Are you the one that closed it? Yes or no? So I'll go ask Bro Williams. What is the matter again? Ah, but I thank God you're here. I mean, I, I, I was the one doing that for work this morning. Only for me to ask about that to open the gate. And then he told me that someone locked the gate with a different key. That's why I'm asking for if he's the one that locked it. And he's not even saying anything. Bro, did you lock that gate with a different key? Young man, I'm asking you. What did you tell him on the one did you lock that gate with a different key? Don't worry, just there. I'll break that key.
madam. Good afternoon. Ah, Abu Bakar, how are you? I do, I don't worry, I don't worry. Oh, mother, I don't think I see you for this cover. I feel like I say you're not there at all. Uh, actually, yes, I tried, I just came. Uh, here, I noticed. Oh, I noticed say you're not there. Oh, mother, if we come back, eh, you bring something for me. You are waiting, I talk. Ah, uh, sure, I will. All oh, right. Well, is anyone home? Oh, pay a person there inside. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Okay, let me check. Mother, no, mother. My <laughs> very <laughs> fine mother. <laughs> very fine mother. Who are you looking for? Well, you don't remember my face. Don't you think you're too beautiful to be deaf? The question was, who are you looking for? I'll stop asking stupid questions. Well, my name is Annabelle, and I'm here to see William. He's my fiance. Oh, your name is Annabelle? Yes. And you're here to see William? Yes, you, you remember now? Yeah, sorry, pardon my manners. <laughs> I forgot. No problem. Um, but can you do me a favor right now? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Just get out. I said get out! Sorry? Get out or say I'm sorry, did you offend me? Leave! Are you there for something? I said get out of this place! I said leave! I said get out, what's your problem? Are you there for something? I don't want to see you here again. So, I went to the south. 
at the same time. Error. That is one of the new developments in this house from today. Nobody's expected to have any visitor to you. Return what you do for me. And how dare you give such an order? Who are you? So be let me me through up in time. That is why I am. Now listen. Let this be the first and the last time you ever do such a thing in this house. Or else, I will tell you that I'm a liar. Then I will cut off your nails, brother William C. Because the lion I know is nothing without you. And if you read the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse Shoes, you do worse than has done already. Damn, I understand. I'll definitely do something about that, but not yet. I have my reasons. Okay, if your reasons were genuine enough, you would call him down and sit him down, talk to him in a polite way that he understands. Ignoring him will even make the matter worse. Take it. Baby. It's okay. I'll do something about it. I promise. Are you sure about this? I'll do it. I promise you. Are you sure? I'll do it. You know, anything that will make you happy, you know I'm in for it, right? Thank you. You're welcome. I Meanwhile, I want to apologize once again for the embarrassment you received in our house the other day. Uh, I'm deeply sorry, yeah? That's why I go Now I see reasons with him. You know I love you. Very, very much. And I know you so much too. It's okay. I will handle it. Just trust me on it. Alright? Let's drink. Just to what? Do the chair. To peace. Mm -hmm. And to love. Mm -hmm. And to our better future. Mm -hmm. And uh <laughs> <laughs> good living. Cheers, baby. Yeah. Thank you. No vest. I did do something very, uh, very important for inside. Have you seen Rod this morning? Did you see him this morning? I, I know. I never see. I've been there for the past uh, three days now. I never see him with my eye. Well, like, I don't know whether or, or that boy, whether he did I like him. Maybe if he don't die, person you never know. My friend, shut up. Oh, what type of stupid talk is that? No vest. I just did talk of my own. You, you ask me talk what? Are you mad? No vest. How do no you even wish him dead? No vest. No vest. He get anything I go do for me. Sorry. Simple question, person, as I answer it, every day for this house comes. Who is that? It's me, Sharon. What is it? Can you please open? I want to talk to you. Hold on.
Madam, this wasn't what you told me when you were outside. You said you wanted to talk to me, not the other way around. What is it? Roy, for four days now, you've not stepped out of this house. You've not gone to school, neither have you left this house. Sharon, you of all people should know that broke people don't leave the house. I don't have money, that is why I've not stepped out. You're broke and you never bother to tell anyone. Hmm? Is that your plans? No, is that your true motive to turn me into a beggar in this house? Is that what you want? Come off it. You know nobody wants to turn you into a beggar in this house. We all are trying our best to make sure you finish up your education. And you know that. That, that is the annoying part of it. Finishing up with my education before I can get what rightfully belongs to me is what I don't like. A thought of it drives me crazy. You that is running one of the biggest educational centers in this town. Do you finish up the university? Oh, come off it. You know, I, I, I just graduated from nursing school. Two years. Yes, I schooled there for two years. See. Come on, Roy. We are trying to help you. Yes. Okay, answer me. If that were to be a life, will you, will you be here talking about uh, uh, inheriting one of his properties? No. You would have still finished up his school before doing that. So please. Just concentrate on your school. These normal things, it happens. Concentrate on your education, please. And when you're done with school, I'm sure things will fall in places. Hmm? Okay. I'll be giving you 50,000 Naira every month's end for your upkeep. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't know for now. I will think about it and give you feedback. Yes. You're, you're broke and you're still thinking. Oh, sorry. Okay, fine. Before then, can I just transfer money to you so you start school again? Like you give me a candy to tell up when you smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me do it as well. Uh, I have my account number. Okay. So you called it? Um, zero, zero. Huh? Okay. So it is. <laughs> okay. Three, nine. Two five four three. You already know the bank. Do I bank with you? That's finishing my money. <sighs> Done. <laughs> so I hope that will make you feel better. Huh? For now. For now. Yes, for now. <laughs> <laughs> My guy, at least now, you know, step out. The more you stay here, the more you think I'm loving this will kill you. Hmm? Go and see those of your cheek. I'll see you later. Come down for dinner at night. Mm. Sharon is not the one giving me money. <laughs> Life balance, so I mean, no, just stand away. Okay, let's see how it goes. Shall let me make a call. I'm going call Frank. I know where my guy is there for. So, so, how did you go? Mommy, well, everything went well. Um, they opted to buy the land, but considering that the land is in a better condition, so uh, it went for rentage for 10 years. Good. Good. You did a good job. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Mom. Did you tell your brother about you? Not yet. Or you still need to tell me? Yeah, I'll tell him, but not now. It's okay if you say so. But I hope he doesn't get to find out before you tell him. Mommy, let me worry about that, okay? <sighs> William. Yes, Mom. No matter what, Roy is still your brother. I know. Okay?
Serious? Like you both have been friends from secondary school? Yes. And well, I've not been seeing you. Like you've not been visiting. Well, I do visit. I guess you're just not around when I come. Oh, that's I, I thought that's more. That's the reason. Wow. Um. Seriously, you look beautiful. I look beautiful, or I am beautiful. <laughs> Father, my man has actually meant to say that you are very beautiful. Apology accepted. I guess I can say thank you. Yeah, you're always welcome. You're always welcome. So, enough of this, please. Amanda, come with me. Going on here, like what is happening? So you don't have you don't have respect for elders. Guys, if we okay, guys, if you don't have respect, you don't have close up. All these newly admitted students you don't have respect for your seniors. Huh? You're here to ask us what are we doing here? Meaning how? Oh, 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 oh. So you all are so high that you cannot see the difference between Ewe and Ewe. That's this calypso that you are drinking. You are so high that you cannot see the difference. These two differences. Can you tell yourself the truth? So you don't know that you are leaning on ES350 2010. The blue scrabber. This in your eye direction, then buka. That the bomber is not even good. You carry it. You. Why didn't you lean on this guy? Now what can you share about because she's not on board. Why didn't you lean on this 350? Uh, this is your buka. Uh, 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 you came on the 350 to lean. I can hear you. Okay, you go. Oh, we blue scrap and now calypso. Catch you. Go. You 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 very, very, very soon. <laughs> you need to hasten up oh, before you be in what and soap will enter your eyes. It is not possible. Oh. Mm. I love that game very, very well. So, yeah, it's not possible. Nothing happens. It's beautiful too. Yeah, and it's because, crazy too. Uh, that reminds me. Have you noticed Roy's action the, um, recently? Yes. <laughs> Calm and friendly. I'm Just the same you. way he used to be when dad was alive. How come? Maybe because I made him an offer and he accepted. Hey, you made him an offer? <laughs> yes, I did. No wonder. Tell me about it. Okay. I promised to be giving him 50,000 Naira every month. 50,000? Mm -hmm. Hey! Hey, hey! <laughs> Try. Okay. Uh, you know, that's why he's not yet back. Try. No. I also transfer some money to his account for his job. Try. So I think he's happy now. What is I was wondering. <laughs> ah, this one boy is not around. Yes, so. <laughs> hey. You know it is your outfit. Eh? Hey. hey. I hope he will sell out one day to buy him. Uh, if it's possible for him to do. I know he will, but he will start with you, not me. Me? He loves me now. Of course he knows I'm a liar. <laughs> Yes. Who is it? 
come back at this time of the night. Where have you been? I'm sorry about that. I, it took me a while to get the cab and the traffic was very bad, believe me. Okay. <sighs> Mom waited for you. And she angrily went to bed. She did? Yes. It's okay. The most important thing is that I'm back and safe. Don't worry about that. I will see her tomorrow morning. I'm okay. Okay. Are you hungry? Should I get you something to eat? Yes. Very hungry, please. And help me and bring it to me. Thank you. Um, that reminds me, your friend, is she still around? You mean Sharon? Yes, Sharon, she's still around. She's not around. And please, eh, don't bother thinking that way, because it will never work. Like, I won't allow it. What do you even know what I'm thinking? Hmm, brother, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're hungry, Abby. I'll get you some. Eat food. Forget about Amanda, she's someone else's. But can you at least tell me if she's still around? Ah, yeah, I'm not one of your own. Let's get an idea. Yeah. Oh. Brother Williams, this morning? Yes, he left for work already. Oh, nice. And that reminds me, did Roy come back home yesterday? Yes, he came back immediately. He went to your And he didn't bother to tap at my door. Mm, maybe he was going to bed, so he said he was this morning. That's okay. Um, when you're done cleaning the dining, you can make up breakfast. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. How are you? What are you doing here? Is school here? <laughs> um, no, I came to see my dad. He's a staff at School of Humanities. Wow, that's great. So what are, what are you doing under the house, son? <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for my cab guy. Your cab guy? Like you book a ride? Yeah. Why don't you cancel it and join us? Let's go to somewhere more conducive and chill out. I just called him. He's already on his way. Like you can't cancel it? No, I'm sorry. Alright, um, can I have your number then? Zero eight one. Okay, let me call you. Zero eight one. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Seven fifty four three. Seven fifty four three. That's yeah. good. All right, I will call you. All right. All right then. All right. Bye. My daughter, how have you been? I'm very fine, thank you, ma'am. Indeed, you're fine. How to see the way she's blowing, mom? <laughs> yeah, truly. And how are your parents? Okay, fine, man. Thank Mom. you. Mom! Yes, sir. Someone just told me that the telecommunication mask company mounted a mask in our family land. Is that true? Mom, I am asking you, is that true? Yes. It's true. Sometime last week, a telecommunication brand called me and said that our land is situated in a better place to mount their telecommunication mask. Normally, I negotiated with them and um, they paid in some cash. And you did all that without my consent. Without letting me know, like I'm not even a member of this family. Strangers are not the one telling me exactly what is going on in my house. How cruel and insensitive can you be, Brother Williams? Why do you hate me with so much passion? What did I ever do to you? No problem, it's okay. There's no problem, it's okay. Oh. Brother, Brother Williams, so why would you do such a thing? How you take such decision without even letting Ron know about it? You didn't even tell me about this. 
mom I, i've been trying my best to bring peace and harmony to this family but it seems nobody wants it and i'm tired of all this williams i told you this tell him and don't let him find out before you tell him. Come on, honey. Stop saying all these things you're saying. I had plans of telling him immediately he comes back from wherever he went today. But you'd have involved him from the onset. You would have. William's Roy is your junior brother. I know. And you should involve him in everything and carry him along in everything that matters in this family, for crying out loud. Okay, fine. Fine. It's okay. I'm sorry about that, okay? Please forgive me. All right? Go tell that to Roy. Not me. I promise you, I will do that. Okay? You promise. You know I don't like you when your face is like this. Hmm? I don't like everything going out to skirt in this family. Don't worry, you got my words. We need peace, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, how did you find out? One of my girlfriends in the village called me and was asking for money. I told her I don't have money, considering the situation at hand. I don't have money. And she said, how can I say that I don't have money when the telecommunication mass company paid a huge amount of money to our account? At first, I was surprised, not until I went home and confronted my mother and my brother, and they confirmed that the information is from a reliable source. Imagine, without me knowing about it. Well, relax. Uh, bring it down, nigga. See, when the oil is spilled, uh, there is no need trying to, you know, pick it up. It's not working. It doesn't work like that. You hear me? The business is done. The business is done. Okay, all you should be concerned about right now is to uh, get to know how much is involved. Yes. So bring it down. Go home. Uh, Make inquiries, try to know how much is involved, and then you make effort towards getting your own share of the money. That's all. I think it has a point there. Yeah, that's if, a good idea. If they had given you your own share, should there be a problem? Sure. No. Sure. I think you need to do that. No one is involved. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm Sharon, it's okay. I am no longer angry. The only reason why I was angry is because they did not involve me from the onset. But I believe with my own share of the money, it will subside my anger. Roy, you love money so much. Who doesn't love money? I can't be broke and be answering big names now. It's a fake life. You know that. Um, don't worry about that. Let me check mom upstairs, alright? Okay, I will. Go back to your kitchen. All right, see you later. Dinner was really not for All right. I'm sure we're going to tell him. Have you seen Brother Williams this morning? Yes, he left for work. Um, you mean he has gone out already? Yes, he left very early this morning. Hope there is no problem. There's no problem. Just that I went to his room and uh, he's not there. Oh, okay. Sorry. Please call me on the phone.
Bro, Williams, good evening. Yeah. Roy, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I actually I went to your room, but you were not there. I decided to come check you. Okay. I hope there's no problem. No, not at all. There's no problem. Just that I came to give you this. Uh, what's the content of that? I... Uh, why don't you see for yourself? Okay. Um, this is your account number. Exactly. I want you to pay in my own share of the money that was realized from the telecommunication mass. Yes, pay into this account. Mom told me there's that amount that was 20 million. So please, pay in 8 million naira. As my elder brother, you can take 12. All at the moment. Okay, it's okay. Oh. I, I will look into it, okay? Okay, no problem. Do well to do that. All right. Thank you very much. Eh? I'll be inside. I'll oh, be expecting wow. the other Thank you. this guy. I, 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 sorry about that. Just that I wanted you guys to be here on time. Sorry about that. Now, wow. So, what's up? Tell us. What's it? We're here. Um, um, I actually called you guys because I want to verify some certain things from you. Yeah. That car that guy insulted us with that very day. How much is it? Yeah. Tell me. Uh, Roy, you know that guy has plenty of cars now. He has split of cars. Which one are you talking that about? That particular one he insulted us with. That's the one I want to know the cost. Ego Nikobu, how much is it? That guy is, that car is Lexus 350. How much is it, Frank? Tell me. Anyways, Lexus 350. Uh, it's in between, let's say, 4.5 million of 5 million, in between 4 million, 5 million. I buy him. Eh? Mm. I go buy him. I go buy him. Huh. <laughs> hey, God. Okay, okay, okay. That reminds me. That man that said he will help us in securing an express certificate, how much did they tell us? Yeah? Yes, how much? That man? Yes. I have his number. I can call him if you want. I want to call him. Call him. But, but, but Roy, why all these inquiries? <laughs> okay, let me tell you guys. You know you're my guys, eh? You're my homies, you're my blood. I always got your back. Yeah. The truth is that... The telecommunication mass company paid in 20 million naira into my brother's account. Hey! 20 million? Exactly. Hey, I talk him now. It's in my mind. Right there, right there, right there. Okay, they all. <laughs> they are first time. I swear. I know you will make your own money later. Do you understand? By then, this nigga has spent his game. I swear. Do you okay, we throw up in time. Nah, the, the idea is that, uh, let's say, okay, 20 million, 20 million. Let me wait. It. All right. You 10 million, your other brother 10 million. No, 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 no. You know, I am not greedy. And he is my elder brother. Okay. So let him take 12 and give me 8. So I got my room. No much difference. 8 and 12. 8 and 10. Same, same. Same, same. Same, same. <laughs> same, same. 12 million. 12 million. 8 million. 8 million. For you. For me. Why are we here now? Same, same. <laughs> no, why are we here? The truth is that uh, from now uh, we are going somewhere. You're going somewhere now, right now from here. We can have two mark or no go can have future me room. What can I buy some money? What can I go in face? Yes, yes, she's inside. 
Um, Sharon, I have been wanting to ask you something. How about your friend Amanda? Is she okay? Yes, she's fine. In fact, I spoke with her this morning. But why do you ask her? Oh, nothing serious. Just that I met her sometime last week and she gave me her number. Ever since then, I've been calling her and sending her SMSs. She's not replying. Amanda gave you her number. Yes. Okay. If you've been calling her then and she's not picking up your calls, that means she doesn't want to come to you. Or she's not replying your first message. She don't want to. Okay. No, 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 no. That can't be true. That's not true. If she doesn't want to have anything to do with me, she couldn't have given her her number. Giving it her number is enough reason for me to know that she really wants to do something or something more serious with me. Sharon, the truth is that I, 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 I like Amanda a whole lot. Yes, for real. You like Amanda? Yes. Since when? Ever since the day I set my eyes on her, I've been having this honest pleasure to do this for her. I love her. But I have something very important to know. Hmm? Okay. Whatever thing you feel for Amanda, please get it because it's not good. Okay? Why? 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 Amanda is in a very serious relationship. Huh? So please, just keep whatever thing you have or feel for yourself. That's it. Amanda, in a serious relationship. But why would she be in a serious relationship and be giving out her money? Listen, you have not told me how you want to manage to your staff. Mom, you know, the fruit is, it's not been easy. I know. But you know your son now. We're just taking it one step at a time. It's more small. That's nice. My brother is there. Mom, how are you? Mom, I'm not fine. I'm here to talk to Brother Williams. Roy? About what? Bro, Williams is two days now ever since I gave you my account details. And you have failed to transfer that money into my account. Why? Sit down, Roy. Right? Bro, Williams, I'm not here to sit and dine with you. I just need to know the things I need to know. It's okay. They understand. I have good and bad news for you. But let me start with the bad news. The bad news is... You are not getting any dime from me. But the good news is, anytime you need money, if it's important, I will not hesitate to give it to you, bro. What nonsense are you talking about? Huh? Don't look like a child you will say those rubbish to. Listen, I'm tired of exchanging words with you. You see this time? If you fail to transfer that money into my account in the next 48 hours, bro, Williams, you will hear from me. I will contact the village you to start digging your grave because it's obvious you want to die before your time. What nonsense is this? You come back here and don't ask you to walk out. What do you mean? Why will you use such language on your brother? For money? Excuse me. I leave my presence. Nonsense. What is it? I have begged you. I begged you to transfer this money into his account. At least for my sake. Mom, with all due respect, I will do no such thing. Why? Mom, I believe you have answer to that question. Excuse me. William, you said four hours already and you have not transferred my money to me. And when did you start calling me by my name? The very day you stopped acting like my elder brother. 
When his legs stop acting like one, no man says three and It's 24 hours already. And by this time tomorrow, it's going to be 48 hours. And if you fail to transfer my money to me, I will tell you why they call me Obele and want me three up in time. So should I take this as a threat? No. Rather, I'm giving you a clue of what will happen to you by this time tomorrow if you fail to transfer my money to my account. <laughs> Another empty threat. William, you can laugh as much as you want. And I also pray for you to live long enough to see who will laugh last. Um, Roy, I don't have this time with you. Hmm? We'll do something like this later. It's okay about Okay. <laughs> William, give me back my money. I cannot be broke and be answering big names. It's a fake life. I must get my money back from you. Stop for me, okay? It's me, Sharon, no? Mom! Mom! Mom, my mom is crying. Yes, and she don't want to tell me why she's crying. Mom, you know that crying will not solve this issue at hand. Please! Tell your son to give me my own share of that money that was realized from the telecommunication mask that was mounted in our family land in the village. That is the only way we need to be in this house. Else, there won't be peace in this house. I think crying will solve this issue. Mom, are you, are you guys still finding it difficult to give Roy his own share of the money? You, you, you should just give him and let's have peace in this house. Mom, tell me, is there anything you're not telling me about this? Mommy, I'm asking you. Just call me. Yes! You're a bastard! You are not my biological brother! And I cannot share my inheritance with you! Mom! What he just said, is it true? Mom, I'm asking you! Your parents, both of them died on the same day. So I picked you up and adopted you as my son. My husband, I want to have a word with you. No problem. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I am thinking of bringing in my little brother's son to live with us. To this place. But he, he is still staying with your mother. Yes, I know. But he is still very young to be under the care of my mother. I want to bring him here so that he will grow up with our son. I want us to train him in school and give him proper Education and upbringing. 
So darkness, we are going to have two sons in this house. Yes, yes. <laughs> something like that. Uh, but remember, I will not will any of my property to him when he grows up. Take that in your mind. That won't be a problem. I just want us to give him proper education. I want him to grow up like a normal child. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and bring him. Thank you. <laughs> and that was how I brought you to my home. I made you my son. Roy, I understand how you feel, but trust me, nothing has changed. Sharon, were you aware of what mom said earlier today? No, not at all. How am I supposed to know this incident happened even before I was born? So nobody told me about it. Also, you still remember my brother. And nothing will ever change that. Please just see yourself as you want. Sharon, you don't just understand how I feel. You don't. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. You don't have to be. You're my brother. You're part of this family. Yes. You, you don't have to say all these things, please. I just want you to see yourself as my brother. There's some way you used to, okay? Please, you know how it's hmm? I understand, trust me. We have to stop drinking too. Hmm? Oh my god. So, Sharon, huh? I didn't see that. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Roy! Where are you going to? I'm leaving. I just realized I don't belong here. Jesus. Roy, you don't say that. That's not true. You're my brother. You belong to this family, right, son? Of course. Yes. So, you're my son. I'm my brother. My son, I love you. I am your mother. And these are your siblings. This home is your home. Yes. Roy, you are my brother. And I don't hate you. I just realized that I'm being so selfish about protecting father's last wish. I am sorry about that. But immediately, I'm going to transfer you one share and 8 million naira into your account. But I just wish you utilize it. Let's build more shares to grow this family. Okay, bro? Yes. And with that, can I have a hug? Come here, my son. <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
Well, let's just do it together as family. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Fra! Fra! 